Hey there, today we're talking about C Lydian mode. We're talking single note soloing. We're talking C major seven sharp 11 and G major seven. Download the backing track. It's a 20 minute backing track on the website down below or here in the link. And we'll get started and I'll continue as we go. So we're going to talk about how uh, C mixo or C Lydian is actually the one, the two, the three, the sharp four. Da -de -da, da -de -da, da -de -da. So you could sing everything that you play here today. Here's another chord progression that just kind of gives us a little turnaround. So it's C. When you hear this section, it's C and then G and then F sharp minor seven and then and then E minor and then F and then D flat major seven. That gives us a little bit of a an incentive to improve our our soloing here. This is all improvised today, and I, if you stick around and you watch the whole session, you're going to see that sometimes we want to do different things. And this, in this particular time, I want to use, you know, feature a common timber or sound, an overall tone. I'm working on, on making melody and making tone with the raised four and the five. You'll notice I'm not changing strings. You're gonna hear mistakes here today, so hopefully you're okay with that. Finally, I want a different timbre, a little higher, brighter tone. And if I have an idea, I'm going to repeat it. And it sounds like it's kind of intentional. Same, by the same methodology, here we can take that G major scale. Because, you know, G, C Lydian is four of major. So we can start in G, Lydian, uh, G Ionian.
strings or we can use I recommend, you know, just a, you know, a triad. So it's, you know, G, B, D. G, B, D, an octave higher, and then G, B, D, an octave higher, and then you could use the seven beneath the G. Characteristic chords too. So we have a C chord with the three, five, and one, and then we have the D chord with the sharp four or the sharp eleven, and this, and then the six, and then the nine or two, right? So we can go back and forth between the two of those shapes. C, D, C. here myself. So 
I've got a fourth and followed by a second. And then they, they all look different to comply with the diatonic G major scale or C Lydian mode. So this is four, sharp four. And again, repeat the ideas to make it sound like you. Pretty, but you should just feel free to just extend your your a melodic, intuitive melodic sense and feel. You know, and just have fun and just enjoy the time.
up with all these really cool little riffs during this this little jam. absorb it into your own playing style. those longer phrases too and expand them and don't forget to descend them Placement too, that's a great technique. You could probably get it to sound good, you know what I mean? still here I really hope you enjoyed the session and don't don't hesitate for one second 
to give me any constructive criticisms here. Is it helpful? Is it something that you want to see again? Do we want to stretch out in this way? But don't forget, you at least, if you want to practice this stuff on your own, you can find the materials on the website and the link in the description below or right here, the old card. So, without further ado, I will let you go and get on with your, your wonderful life. And hopefully you get some practice time in this week. And until next time, happy picking. Oh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And ding the bell for future sessions. We'll see ya.